Hello, Mike Thomas here. Um, welcome you to my channel. I want to talk to you guys about buying versus renting today. A very important subject. A lot of people are renting right now. Um, and I just don't think that that's the way to go. I think that's throwing your money away. Um, you probably know that already and you're wondering, should I rent? Should I buy? What's the difference? Okay, so let's take a look at that today so you're renting maybe your rent is two thousand dollars per month times 12 months twelve thousand dollars or I'm sorry twenty four thousand dollars <laughs> had to check my math there so that's twenty four thousand dollars a year most people rent between three to five years so if you rented for only four years at two thousand dollars per month you're looking at ninety six thousand dollars that's a lot but that's not where it stops that's not the end of it uh, because if you rent for four years and you decide hmm let me wait maybe for a year before I rent or two years or three years I'll rent for a few years and then see about buying if you only wait one year with the market going the way it's going right now um, in 2021 here in Palm Beach County Florida you may end up paying more for the house so if you rent for a year that's twenty four thousand dollars but the next year that same home that you wanted to buy may cost you twenty five thirty thousand dollars more so now you spent twenty four thousand dollars on rent and now you have to pay thirty thousand dollars more for the house uh, than you originally planned now you had a fifty four thousand dollar loss plus also you don't get the tax deductions uh, you actually get to deduct the mortgage interest rate or the mortgage interest payments that you do as a tax deduction as a homeowner you don't get to do that as a renter so you're losing the tax deductions as well so in all in all, you can say by waiting one year to buy versus renting, you're looking at, in this case scenario, $60,000 loss. Most people have the uh, false belief that they have to have this huge down payment and this uh, super high credit score uh, to buy, but that is not true. Um, FHA most conventional loans uh, 620 credit score is the minimum so if you have a 620 credit score if you go FHA there's a three and a half percent down payment uh, if you go conventional it's a five percent down payment on a home that you occupy owner occupy primary residence three and a half to five percent uh, minimum down payment now if you buy a second home uh, it's normally about 10% down and if you buy a an investment property that you plan to rent out it's 20% down so that's um, your down payments and your credit score so how much home can you afford it is normally half of your debt so if you have a monthly income of I'm just going to use high numbers because it's easier math for me. Uh, $10,000. Uh, and you have um, half of that can actually go to a, a mortgage payment. Uh, and what that means is that uh, generally speaking, if you have $1,000 worth of car debt or whatever so now instead of five thousand dollars which is half of ten thousand dollars now you're at a four thousand dollar payment per month so your total debt shouldn't be greater than fifty percent of your gross monthly income um, and that's how you kind of calculate what your your down what your monthly payment should be on on a home that you're purchasing and again um, it's fairly easy uh, I'm gonna post a link uh, best rate mortgages down below you can actually click on it see if you qualify for a mortgage 
Uh, it's pretty easy because it really costs you nothing other than a credit check uh, because it's also based on your credit. The higher credit scores, um, the better interest rate you'll get. And anything above a 620 is very good, uh, is a minimum requirement. So um, I would click on the link below, click the subscribe button and the notification bell to receive more videos on this and buying homes in Florida. And as a first time home buyer, I'll be more than happy to help you along the process if you need me to. My name is Mike Thomas and I service South Florida all the way from Vero Beach down to uh, um, Key Alamorada. And um, I'll be more than happy to guide you along the process. But I'm going to put a link below, bestratemortgages.com, and um, see if you qualify. Uh, credit check isn't very much. Uh, just a few dollars and then you'll know whether you're able to buy a home or whether you should continue to rent um, So thank you very much for watching this video Have a wonderful day if you have any questions comments, please click below Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Thank you so much. Have a